Good morning, Nigerians. This is the voice of Shirka Itaji Najai, the Akogun Agbekoya worldwide. I give glory to Almighty God for giving us another opportunity to witness today. As I'm giving this VN this morning, I'm not happy. Since about four or five days, people have been asking me what happened at Kogun. You are not happy. I say yes, because my people are dying. I received several calls on daily basis with bad news. My ears always hear bad news from my people. I received some messages that ah we just lost someone now he's a subscriber he's a ceo he's a bond duet ah even though when the, the president of uh, bond edona called and told me the people they lost uh, uh in fact i was down we can continue in this way I've tried my best to make sure that we get everything done perfectly. But at times it is what they, they show you, you will know. The Bible says two heads is better than one. In UAAG, we have people that have powers. We have powerful men. We have powerful women. We have captains, general, lawyers, businessmen, businesswomen. We have honorables. A lot of people that have been calling me that they they always tell me that they call me because of my maturity that if we need any help they can also call me they can be of help but i always tell them i know the little That's why in my VN I said, what we are doing is not a secret court. I don't know why we are still facing problem up to this moment. A leader that always hear bad news from his people and keep silent is not a good leader. He's a bad leader. The reason why I did not come out for a, a week now that people have been saying the money has landed, uh, the ego has landed, this and that, I don't like to give people bad news. I always come out when I hear good news to tell my people this is what is happening. And through my voice, uh, a lot of testimony have been coming in. Some people will say, this is my voice that saved their lives and uh, I'm happy about that, that. So I don't want people to come out and say my voice make them sad or my voice kill people. No. That's the reason why I remain silent because I know what is going on. I said it in my VN, last VN, because of the promise on ground that uh, uh, sign of MOU and uh, broadcasting this and that, which you expect is very soon, which I believe supposed to happen this week and nothing happened again 
but I'm crying inside. I always say this, if you deceive the masses, you cannot deceive God. God is there to pay everybody according to what you do. No one can go scot free. Some people will get this money and they will not spend it. That is the truth. We have been deceived a lot. Hiding things at times always kill whatever is supposed to happen. I remember during the time of Reverend Warachuku, we always go after them to ask what is happening. They always keep it for us until when it ends that they have been scammed. You might think, or some people might think they know better than some people, but they don't know nothing. We get connection throughs, through through a VN, a lot of people used to call as I am with my personality. At least I know what I can do. A lot have been calling, crying. I know how much I do spend on daily basis. And at times when some people call that I can't give, it pains me a lot. At times when people are calling, some people say, ah, these people are scammers. They just want to collect money. I say, ha, ah, if someone can call and said, even though it's 500 naira, 1,000 naira, let me eat with my family. Uh, I don't think that should be a lie. And if it's lying, that means that person is lying because he is himself. I if I go, I'm not happy. In this time, where people are crying, and a leader will come out and say, "Ah, laughing, dancing, happy," that leader is not a good leader. I feel for my people. I'm crying inside. It is God that knows my heart, if I lie. People around me knows what I'm talking. I can no longer sleep again. I always think about my people. And also about uh, Bondu owners. I've been saying this. I've seen this ahead. That this thing will cause huh, a lot of trouble. Because bundle owners, they have tried a lot. Some, are, some, when some people are even collecting names, they arrested some of them. And also, bundle owners, some people paid a lot of money to their NGOs. Some sold their houses. Some sold their cars. A lot of bundle owners have reported a lot of people to me uh, playing, trying to play trick on them. See, it might be because of all this that we are still facing what is happening. Because the money is not already got into our hand. We are, playing, we are trying to play smart on the people that help us. Why all this? Some NGOs are not receiving calls again when their bundle owners call them. They don't receive call. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm blaming UAG on this is that they used to call themselves. They called them during Tilbert close ahead. And UAG said they are not using close ahead. They change it to bundle heads. Okay, as they change it to bundle head. Most of them believe they are relevant. 
that UAG has something to do with them. That's why they change it from Closite to Bondo Ed. That is the truth. Don't like telling lies. So, and sometimes they go when and NG, some NGOs are be calling to support, they go back to their bundle owner to tell them that, see, this is what we need. We have to do it. They will still go ahead and some of them will go and borrow. Some NGO will even threaten them that if you don't give this money, this is what will happen to you. I will remove you. I will do this. I will do that. These people will still go. Eh? Go and look for money. Give to them. And the reason why I'm saying two heads is better than one. Bible said it too. If we come out, if we come together and sort things together, we can make sure we we'll find out, we we'll find a way of making them relevant. I said in my VN, I said in one of my VN, I said, no matter how much you want to give to beneficiary, why can't we cut it? Let's say 60, 40 or 50, 50. So that NGO will know how to handle their bundle owners. When uh, there was a time, they called NGO that they should submit the bundles. While some NGOs are submitting 200, 150, 300, 1000, that's why at times to keep silence, it kills. Why can't UAG come out then and, and say to the world that these people that you, you people that are uh, uh, submitting bundles, we have nothing to do with bundle owners then? Why can't they come out and say it? But if you are silent, If you come out and observe something, they say they don't send you. And this is what I'm seeing. I've seen this ahead that there will be bloodshed in Nigeria. Because bundle owners, they have their own, uh, uh, they have their, their groups and they are very strong. You know, more than NGOs, they are very strong. So I think that's why I said, okay, now the country director was there. Ustad Awu was the one that coming out to tell us about what is going on right now. And the, the time I called the bundle owners, we they, 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 they came, they visited me in my hotel, the escorts, we held a meeting. On that day, I called uh the country director he told me they have something for them and i don't know how what they have for them they are very happy on that day that's why we are demanding for uag template let us see uag template what they have for bundle owners and what they have for beneficiary we all know the beneficiary are very important whereby bond owners are more important because they spend a lot of money. The truth is bitter. And also, in the VN, I heard that some NGOs will get five, some will get four, some will get three. I think at this junction, is there any NGO that is more important than other NGOs? This is why I'm saying this, that if we put us together, we we'll sort this and there will be no problem. I think NGOs must be treated equally. Because if I'm an NGO, you give someone five, and you give me three, and I get to know, it will cause problem. This is the reason I'm saying this, that before there can be an AVN released, you think about what you want to say. I say some people will get five, some people will get three. Some people will get for what? A special NGO, let us know how you categorize them. It is better we find solution to this before 
uh, disbursement because I know I very I know very sure that we will get this money. And also, I cannot stop people again. Monday is the end. I cannot stop people not to come out to say their mind. If it is government that is delaying, let people come out and ask the government, why are you delaying our money? I think that is the better thing for now. I've tried all my best to calm people down not to do this for a long time. They always listen to me. I appreciate everybody. May the Lord bless you. All the fighters that have been calling me that, okay, it's because of me they are holding their, their, their people. May the Lord bless you all. Those that give me respect, may the Lord bless you all. I said it in, last, my, in my last video. I said if I come out again and, and tell people not to come out, lay us on me. I always stand on my word. So I've tried my best, and God, even what they are living, uh, God that creates heaven and earth knows I've tried my best. And I think we need to hear from either country director or the president of APGN. We need to hear from you people. Because we don't really understand what is going on. Enough is enough. A lot of have been calling me since the day they said the money has landed. Ah, I should come out and say something. Because I know what is going on. I cannot come out and tell people uh, uh, the truth. And at the end of the day, some people will start having BP. Some people will now go and say, ah, I'm poison myself. That's why I, I remain silent. But at this junction, I have to come out. So at least this, this, this the uh, APGN president have to come out to tell us what has really happened. We don't need to close our mouth. We don't need to hide things. If you people tell us the day we are going to get this money, no one can stop it. The devil can never stop it. You say keeping it is the is the is is the is the main thing, and as it, uh, at times you, you tell people like us, we know how to talk to the masses. The masses are not happy. People are dying on daily basis. People are crying. You at times you see people calling calling, and you see their baby crying on the ground for 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 hunger. A lot of people borrowed money to support. Why all this? That's why I say it's, it's not a secret court. This money is not a family thing. It's not a family money. This one belongs to Nigerians. And the reason why we are just closing our mouth that we want to, we want, we don't want to go uh, and start all over is because. For it not to be, for something not to block another thing. That's why we are calling. Let's know what is really happening. Let's know the area you people need 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 uh, need, need. Let's know where you you need assist assistance. We are not happy. We are not happy. I'm not lying. Me, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And God knows my heart. God knows my heart. Me, I cannot stop the masses again. So it is better for you to come out. The country director is there. The spokesman is there. It is only Ustad Daoud that come, is coming out to tell us what is going on and which people are not happy about it. But if you people bring people like us in and we come together, we are not looking for name again. We are not looking for name again. What we are looking for is for us to get this money. I don't know the reason why we are we keep hiding this uh, 
uh, things like this. It's not a secret court. This money belongs to Nigerians. Why all this? I'm still using this opportunity to beg the APGN president and the country director to come out to talk to the masses. It is very important for us to know where we are. God bless Nigerian. God bless the federal government. God bless the masses. And I 